I'm Brian Parsons. After years of speculation, after years of anticipation, Old Dominion finally appears ready to move forward on a new football stadium plan. Early this morning, the university's Board of Visitors met to review a year-long consultant's report on a new stadium plan. Where to build it, how much would it cost, what is the recommended capacity. Bruce Rader was at the meeting, and he has the story. Well, it's a big day for the Old Dominion football program and its fans. 80-year-old Foreman Field is getting a $55 million facelift. Now, don't be fooled by the numbers. Old Dominion is rebuilding Foreman Field at SB Ballard Stadium, adding just over 2,100 seats, but making it more comfortable for everyone. People are tired of knees in their backs. They're tired of their knees in other people's backs. They're tired of long lines at the concessions, no variety at the concessions, no restrooms. They're, they're just frustrated with their overall experience. So we had to address the bulk of our fans. 15,500 chair back seats with wide aisles and deep, deep tread depths, I think addresses that. Here are some of the pictures. Pretty impressive. And perhaps the most important factor, no increase in student fees. Anything that we would have done that would have increased the cost of the students would not have flown. President Broderick, he was absolutely against any increase in that. There is still a lot to be done. It will take a year for the Virginia General Assembly to approve the project, a year to design, and a year to build. Don't expect to sit in these nice seats until the 2019 season, but it's a nice beginning. You're talking about 29 months from now, we've got shovels going in the ground, so it's going to be here a lot sooner than people think. This is a starting point, people. This is where we start in 2019, and then we're going to continue to grow, and eventually we're going to get up over 30,000. This is going to be all about quality. This venue is going to be the top venue in Conference USA. I would equate it uh, to a home. If you have a 1930 home, and you gut it and renovate it and bring it up to 21st century standards, it's not going to be a whole lot bigger. It might not be any bigger at all, but it is so much nicer. There are a lot more specifics regarding this $55 million project. For more information and pictures, go to Wavy.com. At Old Dominion, I'm Bruce Rader for the Sports Wrap. All right, thank you, Bruce. Now, there has been some backlash on social media from ODU fans complaining that 22,000 is just too small. The university did say that the stadium could be increased to 30,000 if ticket demand is there, but that would be tens of millions of dollars and several years away. These are artist rend uh, renderings of what the 30,000 seat version would look like with an upper deck. Uh, the, they the north end zone would be torn down and replaced with better seating. That's what that would look like. Now, what kind of effect will the new stadium have on recruiting? Coach Bobby Wilder talks about that at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sport Trap, and you might be surprised by his response.